And now if you're a player on that Rams sideline, what's going through your mind? It was 27 to three. I never felt that panic on the sideline. Frustration for a second, yes, but I never thought it bled into anything but a real authentic belief that we're gonna find a way. Thirty-five seconds and no timeouts. Stafford retreats, well protected. Deals left side. Cooper Cup had the catch, getting out of bounds to stop the clock. That was a sale concept where Van uh, Jefferson did a great job of clearing it out for Cooper, getting on his horses, running up the sideline, and Cooper ran a great sale route. He released inside. The guy kind of tugged at him. He gave him a good set and got to the sideline. Matt and Cooper had such a you to me factor that as soon as he made the set and worked his way to the sideline, the ball was in the air. His ability to kind of fight through contact, get out of bounds, and get that clock stopped is what really set up the next play. Stopping the clock with 28 seconds to go. We kind of gave the illusion that we were going to huddle. Shoot, I think on the coaching staff, we felt like, oh, OK, we might huddle and kind of catch our breath. Sean hits the gas. You know, you're really saying, OK, even though it's a stop clock, we were able to still go fast. Because we go fast, there's a little bit of you know chaos getting lined up on defense. Matthew recognizes it. The faster that you can force communication and decisions to be made, the more likely that some errors can occur. Being able to go fast worked to our advantage right there. Stafford bounces, deals, deep down the right side. He's got Cup running down the hash marks. He reels it in at the 15. Cooper Cup tackled at the 12. That's what our, our receiver coach, Eric Yarber, calls a love of the game route. It's for the love of the game and the love of your buddy. Clear out uh, a safety in that area and to occupy him. Cooper Cup's route was initially meant to open up space for either Van Jefferson or Odell Beckham Jr. to get the Rams closer to field goal range. Most of the time, 90% of the time, you're not going to get the route. But you would get that ball in zero and in two man and they happened to go zero. Zero coverage meant the Bucks' defense was in man-to-man, -man, with no deep safety help in the middle. It was a zero blitz, and you leave Cooper Cup singled up in the slot. He just runs right past Winfield Jr. and is wide open. You can see Cooper digging out, knowing that, oh, this is zero. This is my time to get the ball. Antoine Winfield has to cover Cooper Cup, the triple crown winner of receivers, one on one, and Stafford finds him and hits him. Clock is moving, 18 seconds. Rams trying to get up there to spike it. Matthews waving to ultimately get everybody up and get set. Takes the snap, clocks it, and the Rams are in position with four seconds remaining. Just his pure emotion after that, when he spiked that ball, those are special moments. You know, I, I can remember it like I was standing there. Matt Gay will attempt a 30-yard field goal from the left hash. Hits it with the right foot. It is through. We were able to kind of not play perfect by any stretch, but to overcome that, it just felt like another step in the process for our team. Los Angeles will host 